I'm Kit Harrington, this is our Variety Cover Shoot. The thing I'll miss most about working on Thrones is the walking back onto set every season and seeing the family that you've created and and catching up and, and hugging each other and embarking upon a new sort of adventure of whatever season it was. But really more than any of that, it's putting on his costume for the first time each season and going, oh, I'm back, I'm back in this, whatever this is. I think the show always started with incredibly complex female characters. That's one of the things I'm proudest about the show and what we did in TV. For all of the arrows thrown at the show for its nudity and possible missteps that it made in female storylines, we were a show that didn't just create strong, powerful women. We were a show that created complex, difficult, real, fully rounded, female characters at the centre of the story rather than on the periphery. I'm not sure that it ever tried to make political resonance. I think it was a story and I think it was a story about power and of course we're going to see you know echoes of that in the world we live in and god the world's changed since since we started the show, and yeah, we found a Joffrey at the head of one of the most powerful countries in the world. But the show's always been about power, power and family. So you're always gonna see those, that our world reflected in it. It just feels like coming to the end of a long dream, you know? Like a kind of really good, very intense dream. I'm going to be glad once everyone's seen the show so I stop getting asked questions about who dies, what happens, theories, because once it's done, those won't, you know, I won't get asked that. I might just get told opinions now rather than <laughs> asked theories. I don't know, Look, Thrones is never going to completely go away and I'm going to love that. I, I really love that. There was the goodbye on set of like saying goodbye to all those people who I went back each season and worked with, but that was goodbye to that family. As far as saying goodbye to the show, I still don't feel it's over because we're still promoting it. People haven't seen it. It's still a big secret in my head. It's like I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. I can see it ending, and I think it'll end and it will and it will finish with watching the final episodes, and then I think it will feel done. It feels like a privilege and an honour and a, that I hold, like a handful of others, this secret of how it all wraps up in my head. And it seems to, seems to me, anyway, from my sort of centre of the universe, that a lot of people want to know that. So, it's not a pressure. I think the pressure comes on, have we done right by the story? Have we done right by these characters? Have we done right by the followers of this show? And we've done the best we can and ended it how we think best. I don't, I don't think I, I ever got, I, you know, I think you're in trouble if you've got a character and going, I've nailed it, I know who this is now, I mean, then what are you hunting for? You get trapped in a bubble when you're in a show that sort of dominates or kind of takes over a large part of your life. I've been in that bubble for a while and I want to just kind of reset now. I don't know what that is, but I think feel like I need a bit of time away from the madness maybe.